Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to program the KH Director for Alkalinity Control using the GHL Connect app. When the KH Director is given the ability to control alkalinity, you allow it to make fine-tuned adjustments to your existing dose schedule after each KH test. The extent of this change is solely determined by the control settings you enter. In this video, we're going to show you how to properly configure these settings so that you can begin stabilizing your daily alkalinity swings. For this setup, you'll need to have the cage director set up and connected to your system. If you have not done so yet, we invite you to watch our three-part setup video before continuing any further. To get started, connect to your Profilux controller using the GHL Connect app. From the dashboard, press the menu icon. Select Control, then select KH Director. Press the Control tab to view the KHD's control settings. To enable control, select either Add-on Mode or Adaptive Mode. If you select Add-on Mode, the KHD will make calculated changes to your dosing schedule using milliliter amounts. If you select Adaptive Mode, the KHD will make dosing adjustments based on a percentage rather than a milliliter amount. Regardless of which option you choose, the setup process will be the same. For the purpose of this video, we're going to select Add-on Mode. In the Index 1 section, select the dosing pump number that you want controlled by the KHD. The volume change is where you enter how much of a change you want the KHD to make if the KH test result is 1 dKH higher or 1 dKH lower than your desired KH level. In other words, if your desired alkalinity is set to 8 dKH and your KH test result ended up testing at 7 or 9, the KHD will automatically add or subtract the next dose amount by the amount entered here. For example, Let's say you had an existing schedule of 10 doses at 10 milliliters each. If your volume change is set to 2 milliliters and the KHD determines that your KH is 7 dKH, the KHD will add 2 milliliters to the next dose, making your next dosage not 10 milliliters but rather 12. If your KH test result was 9 dKH, the KHD will subtract 2 milliliters from the next scheduled dose. Any doses that follow will also be adjusted until your next scheduled KH test. For example, if you had three scheduled doses after the KH test, all three doses will be adjusted. When the KH test happens, the KHD will reevaluate the prior adjustment and automatically determine if any further adjustment is needed. If the test result matches the desired KH level, no adjustment will be applied to your existing dose schedule. Keep in mind that the KHD uses the volume change feature as a guideline for determining how much of a dosage change is necessary to maintain your desired alkalinity. In cases where the KH test result is actually less than or greater than 1 dKH away from the desired KH, the KHD will automatically determine how much adjustment is needed based on the volume change. Using a similar example to our last one, if the volume change was 2 milliliters and the KH director determines that your alkalinity is 7.5 dKH, the KHD will add 1 milliliter to your next dosage because the test result is only 0.5 dKH away from the desired 8 dKH value. If the test result was 8.5 dKH, the KHD will subtract 1 milliliter from the next scheduled dosage. Moving on to the next part, you have the limit section. Here is where you set the maximum change the KHD is allowed to make in cases where the test result is greater than 1 dKH away from the desired value. For example, if your volume change was set to 2 milliliters and the upper and lower limits were set to 3 milliliters, the most the KHD can do is reduce dosages by 3 milliliters or increase by 3 milliliters. If the limits were set to 4 milliliters, which is double the volume change, the KHD will only add or subtract a maximum of 4 milliliters if the dKH value is 2 dKH from the desired value. The limits you enter here should always be at least equal to the amount of the volume change. If your volume change is set to 2 milliliters, the limit should also be set to at least 2. 
The calculated adjustment section is where you can see how much of a change the KGD made to the single doses that followed after each test. If you have any other dosing pump channel that you'd like to have the KHD control, use the next index section and enter your settings here. Once you're done, press save and your KHD will now control your alkalinity dosages. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to contact us on any one of our support channels. Links and contact info can be found in the description box below. Until next time folks, take care.